Breaking news, 2023, Northerners cannot be forced to vote Southern President, Baba Hamad. Hello, my wonderful people. Baba Hamad is speaking again. He said whatever they want to do, they can do. That is the Northern Elders Forum, and that is their leader speaking. Northern Elders are saying they will not be compared to voting a Southern President. I want to ask a question. Are you happy... I'm not saying a southern president is the one to fix the situation of what we are in, but are you really happy because I, you guys, we reported what you guys said last week, that Buhari is the cause why this country is the way it is. But why can't you guys honestly be honest with yourself for once, look out for how we can have a better person if Nigeria remain as one, rather than nepotism, rather than uh, he's from my state, is from the north that can never ever move the country forward you see this discrimination is worse than slave trade what's happening in nigeria today it's worse than when you say you go to uh, this thing and their racism and the rest is worse in the very own nigeria please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time this same discrimination is why they are treating Onandi Kano, Sonic Boho, the way they are treating them. And those who shoot down a fighter jet are allowed to roam free. You don't understand. <laughs> Please give us, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Thank you. The National Publicity Secretary of the Influential Northern Elders Forum, Dr. Hazan Baba Hamed, has branded prominence and pronouncement of the southern president in 2023 as a lazy politicians who are looking for shortcut to power. Baba Hamed said, why there is nothing wrong in having a southern as president leader in 2023, those seeking the office and those supporters should launch into the land of hard work by persuading northerners and other Nigerians to vote for them. Such aspirants, he said, should assure voters that when they eventually get into office, they would become Southern and Northern president, but a Northern, but, but a Nigerian president. Don't behave like Buhari, who is a president of some set. When you get there, be a president of Nigerians, not of the North, North of the South. We don't want another tribal or religious president, region president like the one we currently have. We've had enough of that. He said the nation, he said he told the nation in an interview in Kaduna. In the interview, Nigeria's real challenge is having a political leadership that is completely undeserving, undeserving to lead the country and the people and not rotational president. According to the former Secretary of the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, voters should be allowed to decide who rules them. Power does not return or go anywhere. Power is determined by voters. This is why we have a democratic process. We are a democratic country. He said in response to a question on the recent call by Southern governors that the presidency should return to the South after President Muhammad Buhari's tenure, in 2023, he added, voters should decide who wants to be their president by their vote. Since 1999, Nigerians have been voting. We voted a southern president in 1999, who ruled to 2007. We then voted a northern president in 2007, who ruled only for two years. And a southern president completed his tenure and was voted in again in 2011. Then, we voted a northern president in 2015. In all these times, it was the power of the votes that determined who became the president. Voters don't carry region connection at hand. The democratic process says Nigerians should exercise their right that every Nigerian above the age of 18 is qualified to vote for who they want to be the president. That is what it is. You cannot hand twist people to vote for you. He said even if the political class decides that presidential candidate 
in the next election must come from the south, it cannot be instant that voters from the northern part of the country must vote a southern candidate or that all political parties must field southern candidates. I don't think that is right. Continuing, he said, if we have five parties and one of the parties files a northern candidate and the northern candidate scored the highest vote, he becomes the president. You cannot force a voter to choose a candidate that is not his choice just because the candidate comes from a particular region of the country. You cannot tie the hands of the northerners completely and totally and say he must not vote for any political party or any other candidates because he's from a particular region. You need to persuade people. You need to let them know what you intend to do at office. The hard work. This comes through hard work. People who believe that having a southern president is central to survival of this country should, in the name of God, get up to the real work of lobbying and preaching to the people for the future of the country. Let them know your agenda, how you intend to serve and save what is already being destroyed. But you cannot do this through threat, intimidation, blackmail. If you keep pushing that for that, that it must be a southern president, we will leave this country and the heavens will fall. Then northerners vote, we vote. And what about the right to choose whoever they want? What do you want? What is the right thing? Can you force me to choose a southerner if my choice really truly is a northerner? This is the point we have been making. You cannot legitimately say it is the law. Baba Hanan believes Buhari is responsible for the current problem we have in the country. He says the problem people like Onan de Kano of the indigenous people of Biafra and Yoruba nation Sunday Igbohu were created by Buhari a pure failure. If Buhari has led this country and has not been division and has not caused division, nobody will want to separate the country. Buhari is the real problem we have today. My people, that is Northern Elders speaking and saying, well, Buhari is the problem. I am surprised it's the North saying this, because if it's the South that have said it, you would have gotten reply upon reply. Anyway, it's not the Southern and saying it, it's the Northern and themselves saying that uh, Buhari is the real problem. Onandi Kano and Sunday Buhu were created by Buhari. What that means is, is lack of leadership brought about the call for separation. Leave us a comment. We really love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.